I was expecting this to happen. Okay, you can kind of see that the the crossing's coming up up in here. So in here, yeah, I have star sand and a blow off tube. I'm gonna change this out and replace it real quick. So I just change this thing out. She's going. That's star sand in there, by the way. So, this is my first time needing a blow off tube, too. Just things to keep an eye on. I kind of figured that this would have happened. So, see you later. Okay, like I said, I'm pretty bad at making a part two to these videos. So this is what I have available for a Saison part two. Um, I had it already in the secondary, and then I even dry hopped it for uh, five days. Uh, I have to get back with you on which actual uh, hop that I used. Uh, but today is tapping day, and so uh, this is also the day where I'm going to have my first taste. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, so here's my sign for uh, my uh, keg rater. So I've got everything just about set up on the inside of my keg rater. Oh, I got a mod right there. It's kind of hard to see. So I have my keg rater at about 41, 42 degrees. So on the inside, this right here is the Saison. And then uh, this is the the serve tap side. I, ha I dip this thing in PBW, let it soak, then put it in star sand, let it soak, and then I wrapped it in aluminum foil and uh, I'll spray it down with that star sand on the connections and everything just before I get ready to tap it. All right, <clears throat> so first thing I'm gonna do is remove all the foil off of this thing. On tap one, go a little star sand. Can never have enough too much star sand. And basically, that's it. <clears throat> so now it's just a matter of uh, bleeding out the line, serving my first pint. Okay, and now it's uh, time for the first pour. Not bad if I say so myself. Okay, so you saw the pour. Now it's uh, talking about the taste, as it were. So, here she is. This is part of the Belgian family, so this is technically an unfiltered beer. Uh, st still looks clear for, for what it is. Um, has a nice color to it. I think, uh, I think my beersmith program actually had it a little lighter than uh, than what my uh, than obviously what it came out to be. Uh, so uh, let's see what this uh, saison tastes like. It tastes very good. Per uh, guidelines for the for the saison for the BJCP, 
Um, this definitely has uh, some of that <clears throat> that fruitiness to it. It's a very smooth beer. Um, definitely uh, because I used uh, the, the French uh, yeast, definitely has a dry, a little dry finish to it. <clears throat> Um, it's not bad. The, the lacing isn't too bad. You can see some all through here. Um, it's very well carbonated. Um, Beersmith had it, uh, had me put it around, um, 12 PSI. I'm not one to super force carb my beers I'll let it sit at serving pressure for two weeks before I do anything with it um, so I'm not one of those kind of people that I'll put it at 30 psi for for 12 hours and then no I'll, I'll, I got time I'll let it rest I'll let it do its thing um, but uh Surprisingly, very good. Um, this is uh, going to be my first beer that I enter into uh, a home brewing competition. Uh, I just like to know where I stand versus other home brewers. I have uh, a, a Four Peaks Kilt Lifter clone uh, that I got uh, in its secondary right now, which will also be uh, entered into this competition. Like I said, am I expecting to win anything? No. Uh, I just want to know where I stand versus qualified judges on my beer. Um, as just a regular home brewer, if I was just drinking it just to drink it, very good. Um, but I'm one of those uh, perfectionists where I like to make, I want to know why something doesn't work right, something doesn't taste right. I need to know those things. That's how you learn. You have to learn every time when you're uh, brewing or you're prone to make mistakes. <clears throat> uh, but back to the Saison. Um, not much I could really add to this video regarding it. Other than if you want this recipe that I made, uh, it is on uh, uh, the, the brew finder. Or not brew finder, um, Beersmith, <laughs> Beersmith two, uh, through the iCloud. Look for Warren Earl. Um, so it's not going to be AZ Home Brewer. Uh, it's going to be under my normal name. Uh, so, but I'm quite happy with it. <clears throat> uh, trust me, I do hope I win some kind of medal for it. But um, I'm not expecting it. Um, if you got any questions, comments. Uh, Ask me any in-depth detail about this beer. Comments right down there. Oh yeah, there you go. Bottle opener ring. You gotta, you gotta have that. So, if uh, unless there's anything else, cheers, uh, best wishes, and uh, happy brewing.